Hello, and welcome to our first Let's Play, or second actually, but we'll get into that later. Uh, with me here, I have Mechanical Jack, in the, a nerdy outfit, or old man outfit, I don't know. A bit of a mix, I suppose. And we have Doom, in a Hello. tuxedo, and a Doom helmet. Uh, today we're playing Stratosphere Survival, which is a map made by Haters. It's a survival map with basically no rules, with a few achievements. The storyline goes as follows. You were sent here with a simple goal, to find the location of former Agent 843. He was sent undercover to work in the Stratosphere facility as a simple warden. But in Stratosphere, nothing is as it seems. The entire area is used as a tourist destination, but once, once each of the islands were connected to Earth, until a cataclysmic event placed them in their current position. The plane is scheduled to land on three of the islands and is approaching the first. Your mission is simple. Wait until the plane passes over the jungle of secrets and escape. The facility lies deep inside the island and was, last, and was the last known location of 843 before con contact was lost. You close your briefcase and look anxiously out the window. The plane is approaching the first stop. A voice booms over the loudspeaker. Welcome to Stratosphere. Islets from the world, suspended in pure calm and relaxation. You look, if you look to your left, you will see the island of frost. One of our main attract. The voice cuts out mid-sentence. Anxious shadow fills the plane. Holy sh the left engine's on fire. Several mortal screams came, come from the front of the plane. You jump up from your seat and walk towards a crowd of people. Out the window to the left, the entire plane's wing is engulfed in vivid flames. You sprint to the front of the plane. The captain is lying dead at plane controls. A solitary light is flashing red to the right of the dashboard. You press several buttons in anxious haste, but nothing happens. As you lean over to see out the front window, you suddenly realize the plane is heading directly towards Earth, and screams of death and cries uh... from the roof come from the passenger area. You have no choice but to save yourself. Your human instinct takes a hold of you. You feel yourself take a fire extinguisher from the wall. With it, you smash through the windows, leaving a jagged hole to escape. Several booming explosions come from the rear of the plane. Your pulse races as you place your left hand on the dashboard. Fire wraps around you as you walk through out the gap. You turn, you see the plane engulfed in flames. As you land on a soft grass, a shattering explosion rips through the air. Fire and debris rains around you, a sea of flames. A large amount of burning flesh and clothing floats like feathers in the morning breeze. A sudden sense of calm overwhelms you. Your breathing slows, your pulse halts, you sit, you think. Welcome to the stratosphere. There we go. Thanks, Yay! So basically we just escaped a plane crash. Too bad it didn't have emergency diamond swords. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the rules are no mods, no cheats, n uh, no game mode changes. Have fun. Yay. Uh, the challenges will have them roll up on the screen when we get to those specific islands that they uh, are, where, or where per we can do them. Where they pertain. Where they pertain, yeah. I'm chopping down this tree. Nice. So, hey, this being are there first any mobs up there? 
No, sir. Not, this time. Not a single one. Okay, um, as you said, this is our second take on this. Uh, first one being uh, more of a test, and we decided to redo it because he changed a lot on the map, and we also felt that it wasn't as good as we wanted. So that's why we're on the second take now. He also updated stuff. Yeah, he added the sto whole storyline and stuff, so... So, here we are. Jack, do, do you want to present yourself a little bit more in detail? Uh, I'm Mechanical Jack. I moderate for Craft Hub because apparently they think I'm good for the job. Little do they know I plan a hostile takeover at some point. Um, oh. I play a lot of Minecraft. And I play a lot of Minecraft. Well, sounds good. <laughs> Uh, Doom? Tell me, oh, tell us about Doom. yourself. Okay. I'm Doom6197. Come from South Africa. I've been a long time community member of Craft Up. And yeah. Still playing. Still having fun. <laughs> That's good. Uh, me, I'm uh, admin at Craft Up. I go to school for. IT, um, or to be an IT engineer, and I live in Finland, a small town called Basel. Uh, What's the town's name? Basel. Basel. It's like a flim. It's like a flim. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, but we Sorry, have, noob. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I play a lot of games actually. Minecraft mostly now. Uh, but I've been I've been playing Killzone 3, the multiplayer. Lately, what else? I'm a pretty calm guy usually. I don't take too much stress. And yeah, now you know me a little bit better. Am I supposed to say where I'm from? If you want to. Well, I'm from the United States in a state called Tennessee, and uh, it's kind of on the eastern side. But I grew up in uh, another state called New Jersey. Oh, you're a New Jersey boy. Didn't know that. I am, sir. Yeah, this is our second take, so we know a little bit what's coming for the first island. We were able to go to the uh, sand one, which is called the Oasis of Notch, and also the abandoned city. I don't so care what the sand. I don't care what the sand one's officially called. I call it the island that shall not be named. <laughs> Yeah, this. we had a few problems. We'll probably have a few problems again. Um, it was mob infested, I can tell you. It's We shall go there and we shall take what we need and then leave it alone. We will never return. Oh, here we go. I'm not sure if it counts as an infestation if they're the dominant life form. Mm, true. We might actually be the infestation in that case. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, it's basically, it's flooded with monsters and just not a very pleasant place to be at if you don't have a shit ton of torches. Sorry for have the you, language. Have you got stone, Noobidoo? I have, cool stone. You got a cake? I got a cake, yeah, there's a cake, uh, there's what? always cake in the chest. Where did you find that? I think he magicked it up. From this treasure oh. chest down here. Yeah. So, I'll That's need you. to try not to no. press the push to talk button for I think, I think we lost that the last time we played when somebody fell off the world. 
<laughs> no, I, um, I can't remember. No, I broke it, I think. Anyway. What difficulty are we playing on? Uh, normal. So we won't start to death. Uh, I haven't heard any mobs yet. Last time there was. Oh, lots of yeah, no, wait, it's unpeaceful. Damn it, I need to change okay. that. Okay, I thought so. We, we shall change it to the next episode. So we get a free pass this episode? We get a free pass this episode. Yay. But, yeah, we're starting up this episode, or this let's play. We're hoping to to get some likes, some subscribes, and that we're doing something right. Uh, we're doing this for fun at the moment, we have no plans on actually getting any money off it. No, speak for yourself. Yeah. Just <laughs> and hopefully, of course, we'll make YouTube partner and we'll start getting some revenue from this, but it's not in the plans per se at the moment, so we'll take it as it comes. I think you have to offend a bunch of people to become a YouTube partner. Um, or not offend people. I don't know, <laughs> it depends on who you offend, really. If you offend some, some higher up people, I don't think you'll become... Nonsense. <laughs> Nonsense. Um, you'll basically have to, to not have any copyright infringement or any other criminal offense. None? I've got a speeding Or problem. related to, to videos on YouTube. The most case it's the copyright thing. I mean you don't you shouldn't use music that you don't have permission for and stuff like that. Does that mean we can't use the Highland Highlander theme for our theme music? Mm, yeah. Drat. Oh. We'll just like form a a pillar band and do it ourselves. Uh yeah. Basically, no. We will use some some uh, music that's under fair use, uh, not fair use, under what's it called? The license. Open uh, source or Creative the Commons. Creative Commons. Yeah. yeah. Did you know there was a chest up in this tree? We know. We were there last time. Two and I. I completely forgot. Well, I've got watermelons now. Yes. I never some planted pole. those the last time, did we? Here. No, I think I died with them on me. Hmm. Oh well. Okay, well I'm gonna toss the watermelon seeds in that direction. I'm facing doom. So somebody catch okay. them so I don't lose them. I'll go Get them. them. Awesome. Oh, that's great. <laughs> So, if you're if you're interested in in seeing how our world looked when we stopped, uh, we can probably put up a download for it. We had done some things. We had uh, flattened this area out, made a home here. We started on a mob farm, and we also had a cobblestone generator. We had also pretty much exploded all of the island that shall not be named. Ah, uh, true. That was a big hole, basically. Creepers are the spawn of the devil. And before people start shouting, yes, I know about ship click, I don't want to use it right now. Did you fall off of something? No, uh, it's just that I, I, when I was crafting I didn't chip click so I didn't get all the items at the same time. I individually picked them from the yes. crafting bench. You heathen. Like a noob, noob. It's even in my name, God damn it. <laughs> So, yeah. 
What else? We been playing together for about almost a year. A year, I don't know. When did Doom join? Uh, yeah, you were. End of twenty. End of what? That kind of cut out on me. Um, December two thousand and ten. Yeah, so a year. Man, how long have I been around? I think about the same as me, really. Now you joined later. You joined on map two. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, that's when I joined. Yeah. Me and CXVA. Uh, and I whiskey, who's our main admin. Uh, we've been from map one and the XAA will be joining us when he has the chance unfortunately he's working pretty much 48 hours <laughs> a day so what is that possible <laughs> no but he has really long days and it's just a pain to to have the time to to come and record with us but when he does, he will join us as well. Speaking of uh, joining us, um, we will try to get guests and stuff on here to join us and and just just have a jolly good time. <laughs> jolly good. Ah, uh, jolly good. Jolly good. Dang it. Somebody dug the blocks out for me and I broke my legs. Yeah. <laughs> I suspect Doom. Uh, he, was, he was standing uh, there, very... I suspect Doom in all things. Hmm. Okay, come. Suspect, yeah, do it again. Suspect me again. Watch. Come. Think you're the only one with a oh, sword? Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have a full complement of tools, sir. And I have a uh, watermelon. I apologize, good sir. No, okay. Jeez, I'm, I'm actually one on the other side of the map now. <laughs> I'm the only one who doesn't have a stone sword. God damn it, I have to go and make myself a stone sword now. Quickly, assassinate him while he's here, helpless. See? Haha, I know I have a stone sword. I think Doom's going after Diamond now. <laughs> so yeah, we have explored this island pretty much uh, through, and there's not much of interest, some iron I think. There are some diamonds and some redstone, and some lapis lazuli. Was there a diamond on this island? Yeah. Okay, well... It was, it was down near the end, it took a while for us to find it. Mm, okay, yeah, I can't remember. Uh, there's also a bunch of uh, zombie pigment spawners at some place there, which is a good source for mm -hmm, basically just rotten flesh. Ah, here. Yeah. Oh, ah, there we go. Doom found it. But as last time, I'll also make a, a mob farm so we can get some some supplies. So, um, which island are we going to first this time? Uh, let's just take the bull by the horns and go to the oasis of Notch first again. Oh, just remember that plenty of torches. Yes. Um. But I think we'll leave that to the next episode. We shall finish up here this episode, I think, or get this button out. And... Next episode we'll start 
doing something more interesting and dying a lot. What's more interesting than terraforming? Dying uh, a lot. Watching paint dry? I don't know. Oh, watching paint dry is interesting. It's a complicated chemical reaction. Yep. I do it on weekends all the time. Um, yeah, Elson Channel, uh, we're, hopefully we're going to get everyone to record at some point, um, at the moment it's mostly a internet issue and a, somewhat of a hardware issue, perhaps takes up a lot of disk space when you're recording. So we'll have to sort that out so that we can get a footage from everyone and we'll cut it nicely together. And hopefully it will look pretty good. Since we already have our I already did some of the video editing first time around. I've gotten the hang of it somewhat. Uh, I started out as knowing nothing about it, or not knowing nothing about video editing. I actually had two courses of video editing in school, so I have some ground for it. But I really hadn't done anything seriously or anything serious in the video editing department so it was a lot of fun and um, hopefully I'll take those what that what I learned from that and apply it here and just make it look good make it enjoyable to watch and I'll also set up a donation link so if you want to donate feel free we're Really, if we, we can, we're going to get some new microphones, uh, some hard disk drive for for recording, and just put it generally into the show. Sounds good. The, the problem is that a good mic is around, well, $50 or something, so it's a lot of money for a student. Yeah, for the point. Oh crap. Um yeah. I think we'll end the episode here and when we get back next episode we'll probably have this flattened out. And we'll be heading towards that around. Guess what I found. So, see you guys. What did you find? You'll find out on the next episode. Ooh. I hate oh. I hate cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to leave you with a cliffhanger. Goodbye. No bye. Goodbye. <laughs>